What up, world? It's your boy, BA For Real 100, and welcome to Get Your Bars Up Media. Salute, salute, salute. Hmm. So, um, URL 2.0 update. Yes, yes, yes. Today, today was the day. Um, the battle that I actually want to talk about is JC versus Franchise. Now, this battle right here, oh, this battle right here, it was okay. It was okay. It wasn't super duper fire. I'm not even going to front. I think that um, this was, you can tell that both artists were trying to, that they were kind of holding back from each other. You feel me? Um, and usually when artists doing it, that means that they didn't really get paid that much or whatever for it. But you could tell they were kind of like holding back. But both of them did well. Um, I want to say the first round, first round, I want to edge it to uh, JC because Franchise started off, but Franchise, his style is totally made for the main stage he, he's not a small room battler at all like that the the volume setting like kind of like the setting that they were at he uh he, he he got a whole bunch of energy and all of that but no 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 i feel like he needs to work on that small room as a small room flow if that's what he's going to be doing in the near future but i edged jc that first round jc came out smoking and uh, I think that he was com more comfortable than Franchise in the setting. Uh, getting to round two, this is where that energy for Franchise did pay off because I think Franchise took off in that second. I think he took off. He was talking. He was talking to JC. Yes, sir. Yes, he really was. But um, JC steps up. And JC, I don't know if he took this round off, but he did well. But he, um, I believe his first was a lot better than his second. But uh, with that being said, I got a 1-1 going into the third. And in the third, Franchise, once again, he looks a little bit uncomfortable in that third to me. He's saying some stuff, trying to talk real, talk about bandos, all of this stuff. And, and that's cool, but um, it just wasn't hitting to me. It wasn't hitting super duper hard. He had a couple bars in there that was, was dope. But um, all in all, I think JC took it. And I think JC third wasn't all of that fire as well. But uh, JC, um, he um, getting back to franchise. Let's get back to franchise. Franchise was kind of stum. He, I'm not gonna say stumbling, but he, you can tell that this wasn't. He wasn't super duper prepared for this one. He didn't seem like he was super duper prepared for this one. Where JC came out and he smooth coast that third round with that stumbling that franchise was kind of doing, like not stumbling bad, but he was losing his place and then going back. I think JC looked better in that third and sounded better than that third. He was a lot cleaner off of technicality. I'm going to give this to JC 2 1. Uh, this battle, am I going to say it's rewatchable? Uh, this was first watch, so I'm going to have to watch it again to see if it is. I mean, ah. Uh, it was okay. Like I said, it was okay. I'm looking forward to uh, I'm looking forward to the Rum Nitty uh, battle. You feel me? The Rum Nitty and uh, Rum Nitty and the Saga. Because I hear that's fire, and I hear that's supposed to drop Wednesday. I heard that 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 one I heard was a classic. That's what my birdies tell me. That's what my birdies tell me. But we'll see. But all in all, like I said, I got a JC two one. Doesn't take anything from franchise. But one thing I can say is, if this battle was on a big stage. <laughs> I think that uh, I think that it would have been even better. I think it would have been way, way, way better. But anyways, um, I um, yeah, I got a JC two one. But another battle that I watched was the Squeako Squeako versus um, Cuban. This battle was fire too. I I I think I think this battle was this battle uh, low key was actually a little better than a <laughs> uh, franchise of JC because I guess. Cuban and Squeako were a little hungrier. Uh, with that being said, I got a Squeako 2 1 in that battle. I think Squeako, um, I just think that he had more. Cuban, you nice, sir. You are nice, sir. But uh, I think Squeako got you. And um, I don't know if it's because Squeako was a little bit more confident in what he was saying and he wasn't looking for any type of reaction where Cuban kind of waits and looks for a reaction. But I guess that's the Goonie way. I guess the Goonie way is to look for a reaction, try to fight for a reaction, and then kind of like look around when nobody else, when you shoot an air ball. But anyways, no no disrespect to the to the Goonies. No disrespect to y'all. I'll rock with y'all. I'll rock with y'all. But anyways, y'all tell me what y'all think about these two battles if y'all have seen them. Um, like I said, uh, 
JC did his thing franchise. That was a cool battle, but Squeako versus Cuban, I think, is actually better for, especially for it to be uh, a one-off PG, whatever it was. I think that battle was just a tad bit better. But anyways, I got to get up out of here. I got to go pick up this pizza. I'm at the J just talking right now, and I should be driving out. But anyways, this is your boy, BA For Real 100. This is Get Your Bars Up Media. If this is your first time here, click that subscribe button. You rock with me. I rock with you. And if you're out there hating just because you think I'm a new guy and you just now stumbled upon my page and I been doing this for a minute then all i can truly say is thank you for coming and get your bars up salute subscribe all of that good stuff and shoot we will be back i can't wait to some fire drops i'm looking for some fire i'm looking for some fire huh black ice where you at drop that two on two i'm waiting for i'm waiting i'm waiting for that two on two anyways i'll let your boys salute